Good morning to the matrix of 2021, staff, sisters, parents joining us online, as well as our school community joining us from all over the school campus through live streaming. We are so happy and proud to be able to share this special moment with you. At the end of 2020, we voted and elected our leaders for 2021, who we celebrate this morning. This has been a long awaited moment. And so with no further ado, please join a beautiful, sorry, and so with no further ado, please join um, us in enjoying a beautiful rendition of the hymn Magnificat by our soloist Jenna Thompson and Sarah Kleinschmidt, accompanied by Mr. Bentley. We look ahead to another year. This reading from the Beatitudes is a prayer. Matthew prays that we will grow strong in different areas of our lives. We make this prayer our own today. Seeing the crowds, he went up on the hill and when he sat down, his disciples came. A reading from Matthew. Chapter 5, verses 1 to 12, the Beatitudes. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, 
for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the poor, pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons and daughters of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For me, a key aspect of being a good leader or role model is to not be scared to remain true to yourself, to be authentic in your actions and your words, and to not lose that in the noise of the world. And so for this induction, I'd like to read a passage that was written by Nikki Banas, and it's called Letting Your Sound Echo Endlessly. I hope you never play small, my beautiful friend. I hope you never have to shrink yourself down or soften your sound simply to fit into the hum of the world. I hope your wildest dreams don't scare you and that you're never afraid to let your sound be heard. I hope you fail and mess up sometimes because that means you're trying new things and going for bigger dreams. And most of all, I hope you never ever let those moments stop you from chasing because if you keep climbing, if you keep going big anyways, if you keep squeezing out every drop of effort you possibly can, my beautiful friend, know that your divine melody will echo across the seas and the stars endlessly. Good morning and welcome to Sister Rosemary, staff, parents and pupils who are watching from their homes or classrooms, and a special welcome to our in-person guests, the Matrix of 2021. We gathered online in August of last year to announce the leaders elect for 2021. And today we are meeting to formally induct them to these roles. The pandemic has forced us to forego many of the usual ways that ceremonies would be conducted. But it has also introduced opportunities for us to be creative in finding new ways to mark these occasions. And this is one such event. The Springfield Leadership System allows for every pupil to learn leadership skills by serving within the portfolio structures. Within these structures, each pupil contributes beyond the self with care and with passion. This is the ultimate leadership goal. Each student has the opportunity to acquire leadership skills and to cultivate the power of her leadership potential, regardless of the volume of her voice. A personal set of leadership skills can empower each of you to quietly take action on behalf of others, inspiring those around you to follow your lead. Each one of you has much to learn from exercising your potential to lead and from practicing humility to follow. Leadership is not binary. One should not be classified as either a leader or a follower. At school, you are exposed to myriad activities and experiences. Each provides choices of when to lead by being in front, when to follow by letting others have a turn, and when to just get out of the way. Each response re requires instinct, knowledge of oneself, and permission to make mistakes. 1 Peter 
chapter 4, verses 10 and 11 remind us that each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength that God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. As you make your pledge this morning, and in so doing accept the responsibility to lead our school, your peers, and yourselves, may you walk in step with God as you lead with wisdom, always working for the good of the students that you serve. We are now going to begin with the uh, handing out of badges. By way of introduction, and to, for those who are watching from home and from classrooms, our leadership positions at Springfield are given definition through their grouping into four pillars. These are culture, community, sport, and ethos. Each pillar will be announced separately. Please, will you come up, stand over here as your name is called, and then pro proceed to the table to collect your badge, after which you may return to your seat. Starting with the community pillar, the clubs and societies. Community care, Lauren Pierce. Computer monitor, Zoe Davids. First aid, Jacqueline Erdman. Help, Elizabeth Mel. Interact, Alexandra Cottrell. Library Monitor, Cassidy Petabaya. Peer Mediation, Emily Wallenberg. Peer Tutoring, Jessica Haller. Smile, Kelly O'Sullivan. And tech crew, Kate Boys. Let's give them all a round of applause. Uh, the portfolios within the community pillar. Eco portfolio, please come forward. Caroline Brown, Faith Brown, Chloe Cullinan, Roxanne Saad, Isabella McAdams, Sophia van der Scaife, and the head of the Eco Portfolio, Mila Matthews.
the community engagement portfolio. Please, will you come forward? <laughs> Maria Allman. Alexandra Cottrell. Bianca Cross, Kayla McLaughlin, Elizabeth Mill, Kelly O'Sullivan, Gabriella Hector, Jessica Keegan, Kiara Labuskachni, Lauren Pierce, Sabrina Raff, <coughs> and the head of our community engagement portfolio, Amy Stubbs. School service portfolio, please come forward. <laughs> Kate Boyce, Zoe Davids, Jacqueline Ertman. Jessica Haller, Carissa Moller, Taryn Semple, Rachel Son, and the head of the school service portfolio, Emily Wallenberg. The Public Relations Portfolio. Elizabeth Boyce. Catherine Meston. Nina Samuels. Erin Moritz, Sean Kane, Eden Kirkham, and the head of our public relations portfolio, Ruby Brosens. The head of the community pillar is Mila Matthews. <laughs> Moving on to the culture pil pillar, the clubs and societies, the heads of choir, Tams and Cullis and Tavia Corby. Culture Club, Michaela Douglas Jones. Head of Debating, Catherine Ward. Deputy Head of Debating, Cara Ronan. Glee Club. Gabriella Knight, Jazz Band, Hannah Riley,
marimbas, Cara Ronan, orchestra, Tavia Combi, rock band, Jordan Connolly. Ubuntu Choir, Tabile Kumalo. Worship Band, Cassidy Petabaya. You're clearly a very smart group of girls because you settled into the rhythm very quickly. So let's give them a round of applause. Will the girls in the MAD portfolio please come forward? Heidi Ansorg, Nicole Boland, Alexandra Bouch, Tamsin Cullis, Nicola Dale, Jordan Davids, <coughs> Michaela Douglas Jones, Anna Yanish, Tabile Kumalo, Gabriella Knight. Carrera Murray, Cassidy Petabaya, Tavia Combi, Hannah Riley, Emma Son, Leah Fosler. Saffron Willemse, Caitlin May Tong Mu, and the head of the MAD portfolio, as well as the head of the culture pillar, is Jordan Connolly. <clears throat> the sports pillar, the sports captains of Cross Country, Sophia van der Skeef, Diving, Charlotte Wolfson, Hockey and indoor hockey, Emma Hall. Netball, Savannah Deerham. Non-school sport. Tamlin Olsenkirst, rowing, Cara Fenter, soccer, Michaela Ng.
squash, Alexandra Day. Swimming, Jade Bailey. Tennis, Alma Saluji. Water polo, Isabella Matsulo. Let's give them a round of applause. Will the girls in the sports portfolio please come forward? Tamlin Alsengeest. Jade Bailey. Emma Hall. Michaela Ng. Almaz Saluji. Cara Fenter. Charlotte Wolfson. And the head of our sport portfolio, as well as the head of the sports pillar, is Alexandra Day. And lastly, the ethos pillar, beginning with the clubs and societies, altar servers, Cara Fenter, The Muslim Students Association, Sarah Khan. Pride, Kara Lam. Refill, Anna Adriansa. St. Dominic, Kanya Mkhinya, Ubuntu Society, Yolanda Ludaka. Let's give them a round of applause. Will the girls in the Amasiko portfolio please come forward? so we can see you. Anna Adriansa. Morag Canu. Yusra Joseph.
Kara Lamb. Yolanda Ludaka. Kanya Mkhinya. Safia Mula. Seema Mkambeli. Sherazon Radloff. Olwetu Zifo. And the head of the Amasiko portfolio, Sara Khan. Will the spirit portfolio please come forward? Ijia Chima. Megan Hetherington. Emma Neal. Michaela O'Donovan. Olivia Riley. Emma Thomas, Mickey van der Hook, Yanula Wolves, and the head of the Spirit Portfolio, Karen de Villiers. And finally, the Veritas portfolio. This portfolio is comprised of our house captains and head students. The house captains and vice house captains, vice captain of Dominic, Lucy Etherington, captain of Dominic, Catherine Ward. Vice Captain of Mackey, Savannah Deerham. Captain of Mackey, Zara Jackson. Captain of Thomas, Georgia Mann. and Vice Captain of Thomas, Isabella Matsulo. The head of the ethos portfolio is Lucy Etherington. And finally, our deputy head students for 2021 Claire Campbell and Lisa Kanya Chiki. And our head student for 2021, Cara Ronan. The students who remain in front all comprise the Student Leadership Conference. We're now going to move to the part of the proceedings where we light candles and we say the pledge. So may I call on the head students to assist with the lighting of the candles. I'm not sure how successful we'll be with the wind, but the ceremony is important.
This is definitely a case of it's a thought that counts. Hold your hand around it. So just to explain, we're lighting the 2020 candle and the girls are passing the light from the 2020 candle to the 2021 candle, in theory. Sorry? Okay, it doesn't look like we're going to be particularly successful. Um, perhaps we may, it, it might calm down a bit later. Cara, would you like to come up and lead your class in committing to the induction pledge together? Okay, can we all please say the pledge? We humbly, oh, stand. Induction pledge for the class of 2021. We humbly accept the honor and privilege of being appointed as leaders of our school community for 2021. We promise to serve our school conscious of the fine tradition of integrity and wisdom of the many generations that went before us but also willing to make conscious change to embrace in all our school community. It's to always be faithful to the Dominican motto, Veritas Truth. We accept the responsibilities we shall bear and with God's help commit ourselves to being people of courage, loyalty, integrity, compassion and kindness. Thank you, everyone, please take their seats. In grade two, I started ballet with a new teacher. During ballet class, we would line up in rows and the teacher would assign each row a leader who had to stand at the front of that row. The leader had various what we thought were privileges at that time, such as being the first one to run onto stage in a dance or standing at the front of the line for that lesson. However, at the end of every ballet class, the leader of each line had to tidy away anything their group had used during the lesson. This leadership position soon became less and less popular because at the time we all agreed that tidying up was certainly not a privilege, let alone something a leader would do. Needless to say, I've realized just how wrong we were. The leaders my ballet teacher was shaping us into were leaders who led by example. And while I know we've all heard the cliche countless times, I want to re-emphasize its importance, especially to us as matrix. It is the example we lead by that sets the tone for the other grades. So let us, regardless of any official leadership position we might hold, all be leaders in our own right. One thing my ballet teacher unfortunately didn't prepare me for is specifically how to lead by example in high school. And I must admit, it's a rather daunting thought. The knowledge that our actions have the ability to influence others because of the position that we're in frightens me. The knowledge that a mistake that I might make can potentially affect many others around me frightens me. Leading by example becomes a lot more scary than it was when I just had to clean after people in my ballet group. And so I think here it's necessary to admit, as Ms. Mullen said earlier, that yes, we will make mistakes and no, we won't always be the best example. Being the leaders of our school means accepting this, but still trying to be our best. 
And most importantly, we may have different leadership roles, but we're all trying to be our best as one matric body. Thank you. I'd like to welcome up Sister Rosemary to do a, a blessing for all the girls here. And after that, if you'd remain seated while the soloists sing the school song. Can you hear me? This is called An Angel Blessing, and it's by John O'Donoghue, an Irish poet. May the angels in their beauty bless you. May they turn towards you streams of blessing. May the angels of awakening stir your heart to come alive to the eternal within you, to all the invitations that quietly surround you. May the angel of healing turn your wounds into sources of refreshment. May the angel of the imagination enable you to stand on the true thresholds, at ease with your ambivalence and drawn in new directions through the glow of your contradictions. May the angel of compassion open your eyes to the unseen suffering around you. May the angel of wildness disturb the places where your life is domesticated and safe, take you to the territories of true otherness, where all that is awkward in you can fall into its own rhythm. May the angel of justice disturb you to take the side of the poor and the wronged. May the angel of encouragement confirm you in worth and self-respect, that you may live with dignity that presides in your soul. May the angel of death arrive only when your life is complete and you have brought every given gift to the threshold where its infinity can shine. May all the angels be your sheltering and joyful guardians. Amen.
Right, all that's left for me to say is a big congratulations to all of the girls here and a massive thank you to everybody who has planned, prepared and participated in today's events. To those of you who are either at home or currently in a classroom, thank you for joining us. We wish we could have had you here with us in person, but we hope that you had some essence or spirit of the celebration that we've had today. Have a lovely day further.